part of his energy policy unveiled yesterday, Republican presidential candidate John McCain proposed a national challenge to improve electric batteries. Affordable battery-powered vehicles that can meet average commuter needs could help us cut oil imports in half. In South Carolina, environmentalists are running this ad with Robert Redford. Our moment is now, and our challenge is to solve global warming. To get it on the agenda for Thursday's Democratic presidential debate. And it is the driving force behind New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg's proposal to charter $8 to enter the busiest areas of Manhattan. I just think New York pays enough taxes overall, enough tax, enough tolls coming in. It means that uh, only rich people are going to be able to live in Manhattan. Why should I pay to drive in the city? The mayor asks, what price do New Yorkers want to pay? With an increased asthma rate, with more greenhouse gases, wasted time, lost business and higher prices? Or do we charge a modest fee to encourage more people to take mass transit? London's doing it, New York may, should the rest of the nation's congested cities travel down the same road. The average commute in this country is 25 minutes, but in some places it's much higher. Los Angeles clocks in at 30 minutes. Philadelphia drivers take almost 34. It's 35 in Chicago and a temper testing 38 minutes in the Big Apple. One of the things that congestion pricing can do is speed up the flow on streets, which is much easier in terms of its carbon dioxide production than stop and go traffic. And advocates also say that congestion pricing can help raise money to improve mass transit. Now, while you're sitting in traffic jams this morning, consider the cost of gridlock. The average driver spends 47 hours a year in delays. All those drivers waste some 2.3 billion gallons of gasoline. And that costs the economy more than $63 billion. Meredith? Ann Thompson.